Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky Tech and in today's video we are going to be talking about top 24 tips, tricks, features and hidden features on your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. You paid a lot of money for this smartphone and I want to maximize your ownership. So let's dive in and get started right away. Alright, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings and then you want to go all the way down and then go to device care and right here you want to make a quick decision in relation to your battery go to the battery and this is going to be a brand new feature on the s24 ultra with one ui 6.1 so what you do is you go to battery protection by default this might be turned off so turn this on and go inside and here's what you want to do if you know that you're going to keep this phone for a long time what you can do is you can enable maximum protection when you enable maximum protection, your phone is only going to charge to a maximum of 80%. By simply doing this, this is going to prolong the battery life so it endures the test of time. Now, if you're somebody that trades in their smartphone every year, you can just go to basic or you can actually turn this off. Doesn't, doesn't matter because you're going to be trading this anyway. But let's say you're not sure where you fall. What you want to do is you want to turn this on, okay, and you want to keep it at adaptive. So basically adaptive mode activates maximum when you are sleeping and every other time if you're charging your phone in daytime it's just going to do regular charging. This is going to be a balance between max and basic. So that's a battery protection. Make a choice and you can stick with it and you can see the results long term and if you don't care just turn it off. Now another great feature actually has to do with calling one of the primary functions of the smartphone. This is a brand new feature again with One UI 6.1 only available on the S24 at least for now. So for this example I'm actually making a phone call and what I'm going to show you is when you are making a phone call what you can do is you can pull down the notification panel once and then twice and on the top you're going to see the microphone mode. So you can tap on this guy. So what you can choose to do here is you can keep it standard, which is just a usual, or you can do voice focus. So the phone is gonna attempt to cancel out the background noise and the ambient noise, and it's gonna make sure your voice is in focus for the other person to hear. That is the brand new mic mode you can use during calls, especially if the other person is complaining that they're hearing a lot of ambient noise in the background this is going to be the best way one of the best ways to make sure they can hear your voice even more clearly all right so next up i'm going to be talking about some camera features at your disposal you have a powerful camera now when you launch the camera and you go to the photo mode and of course you can swipe back and forth just like this between different modes what you can do is by default you can shoot at 12 megapixels but as you know this is a 200 megapixel camera. So if you tap this button right here, you can actually select to shoot at 200 megapixels, which is gonna allow you to get the most detailed shots possible. So if you're out in the wild, or if you're traveling and you see a beautiful vista, I recommend you take a 200 megapixel shot. You can also go down one step to 50 megapixels. That's gonna also give you more details. But one thing you wanna notice is, when you are at 12 megapixels, you can see you can switch between all the various cameras, as you can see, okay? But when you go into 50 megapixels, you can do either 1x or you can do the five times optical camera because it is now a 50 megapixel camera. And then finally, if you do go to 200 megapixels, that is only gonna allow you to use the single 200 megapixel camera, which is great for detailed shots. For most shots, you wanna use a 12 megapixel. Now, the same thing applies to video. So if you go to your video mode, okay, make sure you tap right over here and you choose the proper mode that you want to use. So if you want 4K at 60, you tap right here. So that's 4K at 60 frames per second. If you want to shoot at 8K, you tap that button. And if you want to do 1080p, which most people use, you can do it as well. But make sure you just choose 60 FPS, which is a great standard. And finally, when you go to the photo, okay, there's another great option here. When you go to your settings, it takes you to the photo settings. When you tap on intelligent optimization, you have this quality optimization setting where you can go for maximum quality or if you're outside taking photos of quickly moving subjects, 
You can reduce the quality of the photo, but increase the capture time. So you can take the photos as fast as possible, but with less quality. Or if you just are doing regular photo photography, just keep it at maximum. That's gonna get you the best quality but at a slightly reduced shutter speed. And of course, when I say shutter speed, this is what I mean. So if you wanna make that go even faster, you can do that. All right, the next thing you wanna do is, you wanna to go to your settings, then you wanna go all the way down, go into your about phone, and tap where it says edit, and what you wanna do here is, you wanna give your phone a unique name and make it truly yours. So I can sit here and I can say Saki S24 Ultra and I can tap on done. And one of the benefits of doing this is when you try to connect to other devices using your smartphone, this is a name that's gonna pop up other places. So it's also gonna be very easily identifiable. So that's step number one. Step number two, you just bought this phone. It is brand new. You wanna make sure that the battery on this phone is 100%. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your members application right here. That's gonna be the Samsung's members application. You may have to log in the very first time with your Samsung account. But once you are logged in, you wanna tap on support and you wanna tap on phone diagnostics and simply go to where it says at the bottom. So we're gonna tap on battery status. It's gonna run the check on the battery. And what you wanna do is you wanna see the normal status and also it should say life good and obviously capacity should be 5,000 milliamp hours. If you see anything else in these parameters, something is wrong with the battery and what you wanna do is you wanna go and exchange that phone as soon as possible. Now the next thing I wanna show you guys has to do with your navigation bar. So if you go to your settings and if you go over to display, this is gonna be very important because there is a new feature here. So if you scroll down a little bit and you go to navigation bar, as usual, you have access to button navigation, which is this right here. You got home, recents, okay? You can even tap on more options and you can swap the button positions as you can see. But the big thing is, and that's the new feature, is the brand new circle to search feature. This is an AI feature built in to the S24s. So if you have the buttons chosen, let's go home, to activate circle to search, you press and hold on, this, on the home button right here, and that allows you to activate this feature that you can use to circle anything and get Google search results based on the area that you circle. So that's fantastic, all right? So that's one thing. Now, if you decide to go with swipe gestures, it's gonna be different to activate it. And then if I go to swipe gestures, I can still enable or disable circle to search. Now what I can do is basically on the bar, you just tap on the bar to activate circle to search, okay? Now here's the thing you wanna remember also. Uh, swipe from the corner upwards to access the regular Google Assistant. Tap on the bar to access circle to search function, okay? And remember, you can circle anything, anywhere, in any app, and get results based on that, all right? So that's fantastic. Make sure you set this up the way you want it. Now, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna pinch the screen, okay? Go to wallpaper and style, and go to change wallpaper, and then go to creative option right here, and make sure that you have both of these options enabled. I'm gonna show you what these are, but this one might be disabled from the get-go. It is in fact an amazing feature. So first, let me quickly show you how to enable this because you're gonna be using this a lot. So if I go to my settings, okay, and if I go to advanced features right here, I go to labs, you wanna make sure that the photo ambient wallpaper is in fact enabled. If this is disabled, it's not gonna show up in the wallpaper area. So go to wallpaper and style, go to change in wallpapers. So basically, with the generated wallpapers, you are able to create brand new AI wallpapers on the fly. So here's a couple examples of what I created. So these are my creations. So basically to create, you just go to like, let's say you want something that has to do with terrain. You tap on it, and then you get a text. You modify the text, so I want a realistic terrain uh, a terrain, uh, tap on beach, and I want it to be at an Arctic landscape, and then I want it to have the following colors. Let's just say 
uh, cool colors. Tap on generate. And that is going to generate a unique wallpaper. I'm sure you guys change your wallpapers a lot. So this is going to give you something to play with. And then it gives you a couple different options you can use to set that as a wallpaper. As you can see, that is the preview. Okay, if I tap on done, it gets saved and also applied. As you can see, remember, pinch the screen, go to change. Go to creative, go to generative. Your latest creations are gonna show up right here and then you have other examples towards the end. Okay, so, but you do not lose what you create, which is great. Now going back, also play with the photo ambient wallpaper. Tap on it, okay? When you tap on it, it's gonna take you into your gallery. Pick a nice photo that you want of a person, okay? And basically, when you tap on play, you can see on the lock screen, you are going to get these beautiful weather effects that are going to apply to the wallpaper and it's going to actually be three-dimensional. So you can see the snow is going around this person in front and behind, which is crazy. And even when there are raindrops, they are actually hitting the jacket here, making that effect. So if I tap on done, that is going to be my lock screen wallpaper and the lock screen wallpaper is going to react to whatever is happening outside. So right now, nothing is happening on the outside. When I tap it, you know, there's no snow, so I'm not getting any snow effects, okay? But it is nighttime, so the wallpaper becomes dark. If it was raining, you would see rain. If it was snowing, you would see snow, okay? Right now, it is not snowing. So that's the other two things you want to play with to customize your phone. By the way, because this is a powerful multimedia de device, you want to make sure you get the best possible video and music. So first, go to your settings, go down to advanced features, and then scroll down a little bit and make sure to go to video brightness and choose bright. Okay. And then when you choose that, you can apply certain settings to all these various apps you have downloaded. The more you download, the more they're going to show up here, like Netflix, Crunchyroll, HBO Max, whatever. But if you have this enabled, and if you watch videos on any one of these apps, you are simply going to get more vibrant and brighter colors on that display. It's great for movies. So make sure you enable this and then customize it based on your needs for specific apps. And also go back, okay, and scroll up a little bit. Go to sounds and vibration, scroll down a little bit, go to sound quality and effects and make sure you enable Dolby Atmos and Dolby for gaming. Okay, tap on this by the way, you can customize it or you can just pick auto, it'll pick automatically based on need. This is going to get you the best kind of sound when you're watching movies, playing games, whatever. And also I want you guys to know that we have an equalizer here that you can use uh, for listening to music as well, okay? So anybody that knows what this is, knows how to do it, you can even customize it based on your needs, as you can see, okay? Tap on normal, let's go back, make sure these are properly configured. The next thing you wanna do is you want to customize the power button that is right here. So when you go to your settings, and if you scroll down and go to advanced features, you are able to go to side button, that's what this is called, and then you can customize this. So basically I can double press this to launch the camera or I can modify it. So I can go to open app and choose calculator. Okay. Now when I double press this real quick, it is going to launch the calculator application because that is what I set it out to do. And also what you can do is if I press and hold the side key, I can either wake up big, which I don't think anybody uses anymore. So what I do is I go to power off menu. So when I do press and hold, it just brings up the power off menu. And from here you can restart power off whatever. Okay. But one more thing you can do that's really cool here is if you go to the settings, you can activate the flashlight. Okay. So now if I double press, it just opens up the flashlight and that's going to be very useful. Uh, for nighttime, maybe you're trying to find a keyhole to put your keys in when you're entering your home. Just double tap, boom, you got the flashlight. Now going back into the advanced features, there's a couple things you want to set up just so it just works for you, for your benefit. So again, go back to advanced features 
and then go to motions and gestures. And what I like to do here is I like to make sure these two guys are enabled. So basically I can double tap to turn off the display and double tap to wake it up. All right. So go inside and do that. And also over here, there's an amazing option. It is mute with gestures. So let's say somebody is calling you or an alarm just goes off. What you can do is you can just grab your phone. Let's say it start to, starts to ring right now. If I just flip it over and dump it like that, it is going to stop ringing. Or if there's any alarms, it's just going to mute the alarms. So it's basically flip to mute. All right. That is a fantastic feature. You can have it enabled like this. This one here is lift to wake. So if I enable this, let's turn off the display here. So right now we have the always on display. If I lift the phone, it's just going to wake up the phone. Okay. And I can take a look at the lock screen and then put it back. It goes back to the always on display. Fantastic. Now talking about the always on display, we now have a brand new always on display that is more simple than before, but slightly more aesthetic. If I go over here to lock screen and AOD, look at what happens. AOD always on display, just enable or disable. And I can also say show lock screen wallpaper. So if I disable this, look at this, I'm going to turn off this phone and I have the always on display. But I don't have a wallpaper in the background, which is this one right here. Now with the new feature, I'm able to add the lock screen wallpaper. So I get a nicer effect, kind of like the iPhones. So this is the lock screen. And then if you wait a couple seconds, it goes to the always on display, but it keeps the wallpaper and it makes it look nicer. Now back in the lock screen and AOD, what you want to do is you want to come here and you want to set your widgets for the lock screen. So tap on this guy and you can see you have a bunch of options. Let me just enable them all. Okay. Actually, let's turn off a couple of these so it doesn't look like a mess. But if I go to the home screen, okay, let's go to the always on display and then go to the lock screen, tap on this and that will activate these widgets. You get your music player, your weather, your calendar, your alarms, and also a voice recorder. I can tap here and start recording a voice if that's what you want. But the good news is you can set these guys up by going into that area I just showed you, which is right here. So those are the widgets you want to enable for the lock screen. One more thing, you can tap to reorder and you can move them up and down as you can see. So if there's something I want it to be on the top, I can move it to the top. So now when I go to the lock screen, okay, and tap on this, I'm able to have the voice recorded on the top and the other sequence I just set. Fantastic. Now, one more amazing thing you can do has to do with note taking. So let me pull up my notes application. This is just a standard notes application with all Samsung phones, but this feature is only available on the S24. So let me go into this note. And you can see it's just a paragraph. It is about driving safely. Some tips and tricks on how to drive safe. Now this over here is very boring. I can actually tap on the intelligence button here. Okay. And that gives me a bunch of options like being able to auto format and convert this into something more presentable. So if I tap on Heathers and Bullets, look at what happens. It is, it is doing its thing in the background using artificial intelligence. And now it is reformatting that paragraph to something much more organized all by itself. Okay. And by the way, you can swipe over and you can access these different variants. So let's say I want to do use this one right here. And then I say replace. Now that boring paragraph is turned into this nice and organized with titles and headers. I can also revert this. Let me show you one more thing. Tap the button. I can also create summaries. Again, this is just a small example, but you can create summaries from 20 page long articles. So I can, when it says summarize, I can say add to page before. So now it adds that to the top and I still have my original paragraph, whether that's a 500 words or a thousand words or 5,000 words, you're still going to be able to create a summary at a glance information for that big block of text. So these are advanced intelligence options you can access using this button in Samsung notes and even do translation or correct spelling and stuff like that and even grammar.
All right, so one more new feature with the S24 Ultra. If you go to the settings and if you go into the display, we now have this new option known as Adaptive Color Tone, which uses the front camera to adjust the colors and white balance of your screen based on the ambient lighting conditions. So if I tap on this right now, you are gonna uh, notice a slight change. It looks cool and also is easier on the eyes. You can combine this with the eye comfort shield and get maximum relief on the eyes, which would reduce the eye strain. So this is for the eye strain specifically, but this one is just for the way it appears, but usually it makes the screen warmer and more pleasant to look at. And of course, as always, go to motion smoothness and you can choose between 60 hertz or adaptive 120. Now, because the brand new adaptive 120 hertz is so well done, you don't really see a huge difference in battery life. So I would always keep this in adaptive and don't even touch standard at this point. The technology now is so advanced the adaptive gets you the best motion smoothness and also great battery life. By the way, let's say you are outside and you're looking at your phone and it's so bright, you may not be able to see the display. You can always tap this button to get an extra boost of brightness. It is going to be a button sitting here as long as you don't have the adaptive brightness turned on. If I turn this on, extra brightness disappears. If I turn this off, it is right here, okay? But at any given time, it will give you that extra boost you need. Simultaneously, there is another feature known as extra dim, which is gonna be sitting over here on the top, okay? If you don't see this, tap on edit, and it's gonna be right here. Tap on edit again, and then what you can do is it's gonna be at the bottom under available, and you just drag it and drop it, drop it right over, so it would show up right here. You can put it anywhere that you want. Okay, you can customize this area. But extra dim is very useful at nighttime. So let's say you're in your bed, the lights are out, but you're looking at your phone, which we know everybody does. So you go to your display, and normally you just lower the brightness so it's gonna be easy on the eyes. Now, sometimes under pitch black, it is still very bright. So then what you can do is pull this down, and tap on extra dim to get an extra dim display that's gonna be even less strainful on the eyes, okay? So great feature to have. These are the things you wanna set up on your phones so you can use them when you need them with these quick toggles. Now, one more feature a lot of people don't use for some reason is the wireless power share feature. So again, always go to your settings and go down, okay? And then go into device care, go to battery, and then go into wireless power share right here. And what you can do is, let's say you have a Samsung Galaxy Buds like this one, and the battery is dead. You can enable this, flip the phone, and then you can charge your actual wireless buds right on the back of your smartphone, and then get power and listen to music. Okay, so that's an option you have. Some people don't use it, just something to be aware of. Once you're done charging, make sure to go back here and disable it, even though it should be automatic if it's not used, all right? All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of this video, but there's gonna be many more videos with much more detail. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. For now, have a fantastic day.